I do use Printful as a trusted partner in my print-on-demand journey. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can design things right in Printful. You don't need Photoshop. You don't need Affinity Photo. It's really easy and fun, and it's completely free to use as part of a basic Printful package. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm inside the Printful dashboard, and I'm inside of a sample order. And so I'm going to simply add a product now to get started. So from here, I'm going to pick women's clothing, and then I'm going to pick all shirts. Now I'm just going to pick a basic shirt here. So this is called uh, the Organic Cotton Tee, and I'm going to click on this. Nice smiling lady there. And we can see here now we've got a couple different options. Now you've got the front and the back. So I'm going to click back, and you've got outside label, and then you've got left sleeve and right sleeve. So you could actually really create quite a detailed shirt if you wanted. Now, of course, the cost would go up. I'm just going to keep it simple here and do a front design. Now from here, if I click drop your design here, that's going to open up my image library with all of my different images that I've got uploaded into Printful that I can use. However, I'm not going to use any of my images from the image library. Over on the left, I'm going to click the Design tab, and then I'm going to look for this thing here called Add Quick Design. This is a design feature built right inside of Printful. So anything you've used recently will pop up at the top, and then you can scroll through and you can see different designs that are already pre-installed inside of Printful. So as I scroll on down, I'm going to pick a design here, for example, Save the Wildlife. Now, depending on the color of your garment, you may want to change the color of the design. So here I can simply click the color of the design, and then I can change the color right here. So if I don't like that tiger color, I could change the color into whatever I wanted off of this color palette, and it instantly updates. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to make the, the color here a little bit of a brighter orange. And then I'm going to change the Save the Wildlife color. I'm going to make that a bit brighter as well. So I'm going to make that more yellow. So you can have a lot of fun playing around with the different colors on your t-shirt simply by clicking this color button. You can also remove pieces of the design as well. Let's say for whatever reason I didn't want this little star over on the right hand side. Well I can scroll on down, see where he's located, and I can move him around or I can even delete him out. Get rid of him completely. That's kind of a nice feature. I can also change the font. So for example, here I've got Save the Wildlife. If I click on font on the top, it's going to show me what font that I'm using, but I can actually scroll on through and I can change it to another type of font here. I can also make the design bigger if I want it as well. So you can really play around with these designs and make them unique for yourself. I can move my tiger face. I can change this color, for example. Maybe I want to have a green and then I can move Tiger back up here to the top. All sorts of weird wild stuff you can do here with your t-shirt. You can also easily duplicate one of the pieces of your design as well. Let's say I wanted to duplicate this little star over here on the left. I can go over here, find the design on the left hand side, click the little three buttons and I can click duplicate and that's going to give me now a second little star and I can move him around. Maybe I'll move him to the right, change the color, and I'll make him a little bit brighter there. Now I can also zoom in on this design to do a really good double check. I'm going to click the zoom button here and I'm going to notice, uh-oh, I've got a star that's stuck right on top of the tiger's face here. So I can move him over too. You can actually edit this while you're in zoom mode, which is nice. So I'm going to move these just a little bit off of the face. I'm going to move the face around as well. You'll notice the grid lines come up, which is a really nice feature too. Now one way you can make your design really stand out is you can create a shadow inside your design. Pretty easy to do. So what I want to do is isolate my tiger face. So the way I do that is I go down here to the left hand side and I look for the layer that has the tiger illustration on it. This is the image right here. It's near the bottom and I'm going to click the little three buttons on the right hand side and I'm going to click duplicate. When that happens it's going to create a second vector now. I'm going to click the zoom button so we can see it a bit better. So what I'm going to do now is change the color of this tiger face to straight black. Now you might think well that doesn't look so great but what we're going to do now is move the tiger face up into the design and I'm going to move him down a layer. So I'm going to go back to the design layers. I'm going to see here my tiger layer is sitting near the top and I don't want him near the top. I want to move him down near the bottom. So I'm going to continue to scroll him down and I'm actually going to put him underneath the orange layer. And when that updates we can see now inside the t-shirt we've got this layer that is the black tiger underneath 
and then the orange layer right on top. So I'm going to nudge him using the arrow keys, very, very tiny, and I can see now I've created a little bit of a shadow right on top. I think that looks pretty good. Now you can also create a shadow with the text. It's a little bit different here. I'm going to click the text layer and I'm going to go up here to the top and we can see that there's a shadow button right here. Now I can change the shadow color. So for example, let's say I wanted to do bright blue. We can see it populates in behind and that's kind of nice too. We can also change where it's sitting and we can also change the angle as well. So I can change the angle here and you've got a 360 degree arc. So by changing the angle and changing the distance, you can really move things around and make it exactly how you'd like. And remember, you can always change the product as well. So over on the left-hand side, you can actually change the color of the design if you've got different t-shirt colors at your disposal as well. There's a gray t-shirt, there's a natural t-shirt, and then there's a pure white t-shirt. So you could go through the different colors and make sure that your product is looking great if you're going to create an order or if you're going to link this up to your store. Now when you're happy with this design and you think that looks good then you'll click the continue button at the bottom and you'll see here now it's creating the file and it's going to be able to show you the mock-up and then the actual t-shirt mock-up as well. So there would be your t-shirt mock-up and then you could add the product now to your order simply move on to shipping and you could get this sent to your customer, you could get this sent to yourself. I enjoy using Printful. I do want to point out there is an affiliate link in the video description below and what that means is if you click the link and you wind up purchasing something through Printful, I would receive a small commission. I would recommend ordering a product or two from Printful. That way you can see the different types of products that they offer and you can get familiar with the quick design feature for yourself. It's easy, it's free, and it's kind of fun too. Thanks a lot for watching and if you use Printful, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below and I know other viewers would as well. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey.